Hey, what's up everyone? I hope you're all having a wonderful day or night. I hope you will enjoy today's video, so let's just get into it. It's actually crazy how a guy will literally be perfectly fine. In love with you. Wants a future with you. Loves you. But then literally, in the snap of a finger, it can all be gone. I think this needs to be studied. No, not really. It's not rocket science. I know on TikTok you're always told you can do no wrong. In real life though, keeping a guy, it's obviously not that easy. It doesn't matter how much he loves you, he can only put him through so much before he leaves. When me and my ex broke up, he blocked me on Instagram as well as all of my fake accounts. So I could not stalk him, but I just, I needed to know how he was doing without me. You know, I needed to know that he was miserable. So I had to find another way to stalk him. And I found a website that I could watch all of his stories and all of his posts without him knowing, like totally anonymously. So I started to check on him every single day. And two months later, he just hard lunched his new girlfriend. He posted a video with her on his stories, but he did not tag her. So I didn't know who she was, but I knew her face. So I went through all of his 500 following and I checked every single girl that he followed and followed him back and eventually obviously i found her but she had a private instagram so i could not like see who she was you know and what the things she did but that did not stop me because you are obviously not well i think i've said it already in a previous video if you go through all that after a breakup it's pretty obvious you are the problem in that relationship you stalked him for two months every single day and not just him but his new girlfriend not only that you are the problem in the relationship but you probably need to renew your prescription i've been cheated on i don't have the beauty filter on and these are my real Okay, but something that's even crazier is that I've never been cheated on. And I don't have the ugly filter on. This is how I actually look. And I've never been cheated on. <laughs> Wild, I know. It's almost like if you're choosing the men you're dealing with better, you don't need to worry about them being players. Welcome back to my series where I help you romanticize the solo girl life. One thing about me, I used to always hate coming home to an empty space as i saw all my best friends getting married and being in relationships coming home to no one but myself always made me feel so lonely but i have come to realize how much peace comes from being in a space that is solely for myself and how much of a blessing it is to rely on no one but myself at this time in my life but most importantly there is absolutely nothing wrong with being alone i'm convinced single people can be happy but happy people don't need to romanticize their single life because they are happy if you feel like you need to romanticize your single life then maybe you're just fooling yourself i definitely like a guy to like pay my bills you said what i like a guy to pay my bills you like a guy to pay your bills yeah okay like, take care of me like straight out the gate i mean yeah yeah a little bit why i don't know like i just feel like there's so many guys that want my attention okay like, i just feel like not for nothing. You have to at least like bring something to like the table and do something to get my attention. Okay. If not, it's just like kind of like, well, why are we talking? Why are you here? Like you're not looking to do anything for me or right, right. Pull, pour into me. So right, it's right. Like, but okay. you want full access to me. Okay. So. so <clears throat> You're aware that you're sucking dong on the internet, right? Yes, and now she's looking for a sim to finance her lifestyle. It's great that you're not one of them, but I'm pretty sure she's gonna find one eventually. For the love of God, can someone please explain to me what drizzle drizzle means? And why so many 50, 60 year old men are saying it as an insult to women on TikTok? What does that mean? Use words. Okay, but last I've checked, drizzle is a word. But of course, you probably know better because English is your first language. But if you don't even know what it means or if it's a word or not, how did you reach the conclusion that it is used as an insult to women? Maybe it's something more like bite me. For some people, that can be an insult. For some, can be making a wish. Walking up to a woman's car, mm -hmm. you should have pulled me over. You're lucky I didn't have my pepper spray on me because you scared the ever living. 
Uh, he would as a he woman, would not if he weren't going through emails, sir, he would probably be I'm more not, observant. I'm not trying to be I'm telling you, mm -hmm. as a woman, mm -hmm. I'm actually shaking right now because you scared the ever living well, I've made over 7,000 traffic sir, stops and I've never that, been pepper sprayed. But you, so. I understand that, mm -hmm. sir, but I'm telling you, as a woman, mm -hmm. you made me feel unsafe. Okay, I'm a public safety official, ma'am. I understand ma that, but I please listen to what mm -hmm. I am saying because mm -hmm. you're not listening because you're seeing this through the eyes of me trying to get out of a ticket, which mm -hmm. I'm not. Oh, you won't get I'm out of it, yeah. Sir, I can assure you of that. Sir, can I please finish mm -hmm. my sentence? Go ahead. As a public employee, mm -hmm. I am letting you know, as somebody who pays, who is a person who pays your salary, if, sir, please. No, I'm no longer going to listen to you. I'm, I'm no I'm longer going you. to listen to you. I'm going to give you your driver's license Thanks. back. What you are being cited no, with, is te with is you, texting you, while driving. Right. I gave you a copy of the law. You're going to have three Can options. You please have your badge Your number? first option, it's going to be right here, ma'am. It's K Connor batch 1300. It's at the bottom Can of I your citation. Your pen, no, ma'am. You will. You, all I have to do is provide it to you. It's on the bottom of your citation. Yeah. So citation you're going to have three separate stuff. options. I won't give you your options then. I need your signature. Your signature is not an admission of guilt, but I need do need your signature because it's an arrestable offense if you do not. I can't believe that you won't even listen. No, as somebody. soon as you said, I pay your salary, then we're done. But, sir, we're I'm done. trying to tell you we are so done. that you can do your job better. I've done my job 20 been, years, and I, I'm protecting the that. public from you reading your emails while you drive your car. Maybe playing the victim won't always get you out of a ticket. At least that we know now for sure. It's still a shame, though. I was here for what would have happened if she was pepper spraying that cup. Hi. Um... I just wanted to know what you were eating. Uh, it's not some fried chicken. Yeah. Was it good? Yeah, it was bomb. Okay, um, where's Burger King? It is downstairs. Thank you. You are the first one. Okay, so cops can walk up to your car. Men should absolutely not approach you, but it's appropriate for you to do that. Go in that close to a complete stranger. Okay, then. Imagine. If men suddenly didn't want any women, they would be like, no, I'm done with women. I'm going to focus on myself, on inner work, healing, go to the psychiatrist. I would be pissed. <laughs> but then again, we're not living on this same terms and conditions. That's the problem. If we were, yeah. We're not. We're not. Those marriage rates going down every year fooled me for sure. Okay, and this is gonna be it for today. As always, I do hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, I still appreciate you for making it this far. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe, and I will see you in the next one.